Hello and welcome to this video for A-level physics in the OCR specification on module 3 forces of motion in the subchapter forces in action on the topic of pressure. So in today's lesson we're going to look at what pressure is and how to calculate different pressures. So if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson we should be able to know the definition of pressure, calculate values of pressure and then calculate values of forces and area based on the pressure exerted. So we're going to look at the following part of the OCR A-level physics specification, 3.2.4, density and pressure, and look at the idea that learners should be able to demonstrate and apply their knowledge and understanding of pressure with pressure equals force over area for solids, liquids and gases. So, pressure is produced when a substance exerts a force over a particular area. So this could be when a solid material is in contact with another solid material. Or it could be when a fluid particle, so a liquid or a gas, collides with the surface or containers they are in. So there are two main types of pressure. We've got surface or solid pressure, which is the pressure exerted when a solid object places a force on a surface. But you've also got fluid pressure as well. So that's the pressure exerted when the particles of a fluid collide with the surface or a container. So just to clarify, we'll look at the concept of fluid pressure in more detail. So fluid pressure, as we said, is the pressure exerted when the particles of a fluid collide with a surface or container. Now the fluid can either be a liquid or a gas. Now it's important to note that the definition of a fluid is it's a substance that flows. Now in a fluid, the particles will have a random motion with a range of speeds. This means that in a fluid, all the particles are moving around in random directions. So the particles in the fluid will collide with the sides of the container or the surface as they move around. Now because it is random, this means that all sides will roughly have the same number of collisions as the particles are moving freely. Now it can be considered that these collisions cause a pressure in the fluid. Now we know that because of the direction of the collision, the pressure will always act outwards on a fluid. So we can say that the fluid produces a the fluid produces a pressure which produces a force normal to the surface or the containers. So the force is at a right angle to the surface that the pressure is exerted on. So just to clarify, fluid pressure, which is pressure in a liquid or a gas, is the pressure exerted when the particles of a fluid collide with a surface or a container, and the pressure in the fluids causes a force normal to any surface. Now, we can work out the pressure with the following equation. Pressure in pascals is equal to the force normal to a surface in newtons divided by the area of that surface in meters squared. Now the units of pressure can also be expressed in terms of force and area. So for example, when the force is in newtons and the area is in meters squared, we, we call the unit of pressure the newtons per meter squared, or in this case, the pascal. But when the force is in newtons and the area is in centimeters squared, the unit of pressure is newtons per centimeter squared. And when the force is in newtons and the area is in millimeters squared, the unit of pressure is newtons per millimeter squared. Now, this is an equation which you've got to be able to use and memorize for your examination. Now, you must have to convert the area into meters squared to find the pressure of pascals, but do be aware that some questions can ask for the pressure in different units. And you'll also be expected to rearrange this equation to make the area or the force the subject of the equation. So, for example, it's a common rearrangement to see the equation in the form of the force normal to a surface in newtons is equal to the pressure in pascals uh, times by the area of that surface in meters squared. So what this tells us is that a resultant force can actually cause a change in pressure. So we can write it out as well as the resultant force in newtons is equal to the change in pressure in pascals times by the area of the surface the force acts upon in meters squared. So here's an example calculation. A gas inside a container applies a force of 400,000 400, newtons. Now, the walls of the container have an area of 8 metres squared. Calculate the pressure of the gas. So we can calculate the pressure with the following equation. Pressure is the resultant force over the area of the surface. So it's 400,000 divided by 8. So the pressure is 5 times 10 to the 4. It can be written in pascals because the force is in newtons and the area is in metres squared. 
So, to summarise what we've learned in today's lesson, we should be aware of the definition of the term pressure. We should know to calculate pressure, it is force over area for solids, liquids and gases. So, if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson, we should be able to state the definition of pressure, calculate values of pressure, and then finally calculate the values of force and area based on the pressure exerted. So, thank you for watching this lesson on Module 3 of uh, OCR A-Level Physics on Forces and Motion in the subchapter 3.2 Forces in Action and on the topic of pressure. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.